Hello, I am Zarkoon and this is World of Warships Legends. Today I've got somewhat of an interesting game for you, and I want to focus on the topic of getting broadsides, because I hear people who describe themselves as battleship mains say they love playing battleships, but only when the enemy gives them broadside. And I'm here to tell you that your job in a battleship is not to wait around until a red ship merely turns and gives you broadside. No, your job is to go and try to find the broadside. And this is an interesting game because it's going to contrast between what I do and between what three or four enemy battleships do you're going to see these enemy battleships be very stationary in one place. Three of them are going to appear north of this Bravo cap, and one of them is going to appear by, what is that, the Delta cap that the enemy team holds at the start of the game? That Richelieu over there, you can see him 18 kilometers away. He is going to sit there for the entirety of the game, while three battleships push toward the Bravo cap, bow in, facing south. And my job is going to be to figure out how to try to counter these rather stationary targets. And what I'm not going to do is push straight into that Bravo cap bow on to face them. Why would I do that? There are going to be three of them. Pushing bow in means that I have no ability to disengage and I'm getting shot at three battleships. Instead, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to move my battleship around to try and find a way to access the broadsides of the enemies that are going to be pushing B, and also try to avoid fire of the Richelieu. The Richelieu is sort of in a problematic place for me. What I'd like to do is get further up into the middle, but if I do that, the Richelieu is going to be waiting there to shoot at me. Then I'm going to have those three battleships to the north of Bravo, and whatever else is going to the north of Charlie. Meanwhile, some of our teammates have entered the Charlie cap. It is turning blue. The ship inside of that cap is not our friendly destroyer who remains in the center of the map doing things that I don't understand, but that's okay. Now, as we pass this corner, we get spotted because here are the battleship buddies. And I think these three are in a division, and these three, I think, represent the sort of typical Legends battleship player. Again, they're going to sit north of this Bravo cap. I think at some point they're going to enter it. And they're just going to sit bow on to everything, shooting at everything. Now, I don't know who these players are. They might be newer. They might have just gotten their tier 7s, like this Iowa. Maybe he just got that tier 7. And he's not sure exactly what he's going to do. But him and his buddy that we can't currently see are both going to sit in that same grid square just shooting bow on at the blue ships that are south of the Bravo cap. And you can see here as I approach this island, I could go right and I could point my bow at these enemy ships over here and just sort of exchange with them while bow tanking. Or I could do what I'm doing right now and go left. If I try to go left and get here into the center, I can theoretically get an angle on these battleships north of Bravo in order to get their broadsides. And that's what you need to do. You need to move your battleship so as to get a broadside. Now, I've elected to not push any further because that Richelieu, who, again, I think he's going to say, stay in the exact same place for the entirety of this battle. This is not effective. This is not what you want to do with your battleship. You want to be constantly, well, maybe not constantly, but you want to be moving it around to try to find better positions where you can access broadsides. You don't just park yourself at a cap circle like the enemy battleships to the north of Bravo or even the friendly battleships to the south of Bravo. You don't just park yourself there and hope that the enemy turns broadside to you. You move into a position to access a broadside, and here's actually an example of it on the Flanders out there. Now, we don't actually end up hitting him very hard, but as you can see, he's in a position where he's pushing into a number of my teammates over on this other side of the map, and because he's pushing into them, and because of my position in the center of the map, I actually have his broadside. Now, of course, he's turning in. He's losing a lot of health to fire. He just took down our friendly Georgia. And basically, we're just trying to get our shells in there to whittle away 
his remaining hit points so that he goes down without taking another one of my teammates with him. Although there is a battleship flat broadside in front of him, luckily the Otago's fire finally burns him down. Okay, now back on to the matter of the three battleship buddies over here north of Bravo. You can see that for the entirety of this time, they have really failed to move out of that grid square, and only now does the Iowa appear to be pushing into Bravo after he's lost half of his health. Again, bow tanking is not what you want to do. The reason this Iowa has lost half of his health is because he was bow tanking. He had his bow pointed at three of my teammates, two battleships and a cruiser. As a consequence, he's probably been chipped down by the battleship's AP, and he's been melted at the same time by the cruiser's HE with absolutely no ability to disengage aside from reversing or turning out and exposing broadside. And now he's got a little bit of broadside exposed at me. It looks like he's aiming at me with the intent to shoot. So I send a salvo his way. I don't expect it to do all that much because he is slightly angled. But now that the enemy herd has sort of been thinned out on the other side of the map, I feel a little bit more confident in pushing up into the center, which has been my intention for the entirety of this game so far. I just haven't been able to do it. The cruiser inside of Charlie turning it red complicates things a little bit. And we notice a Kansas out there who is almost totally broadside to us. So we're going to keep him in mind. Probably going to take another shot at the Iowa, but we are turning our guns to the port side of our ship with the intention that we may turn right and we may go around the island or we may continue on this straight course and shoot at the Ochakov in the Charlie cap when he gets spotted again. We do want to prevent him from taking the Charlie cap. That is our only cap at the moment. But the Kansas, he's still broadside. It looks like he's trying to retreat from this situation, and this is the perfect opportunity to get a shot on him. And so we do, and it does manage to take him out for our first kill of the game, actually. We're up to 64,000 damage. Now at this point, this Iowa is alone. The previous Iowa has been taken down, and this guy is alone in the cap. This is the kind of situation where you push bow in toward the enemy. When you can guarantee it's a one versus one, or a one versus two. In this case, the Iowa versus me and the Alaska. If I've got the superior numbers, I know I can push in. Now I'm not pushing in right at this moment, I'm actually turning out but I do plan to make a turn back in. This Iowa is about to turn broadside to me in pursuit of this Alaska, and as soon as he does that, we will have created a bit of a crossfire here. You see he's turning broadside now, he's focused only on this Alaska, and so we're gonna be able to smack him, I think, fairly hard right here. Yeah, in fact, we get a devastating strike on his broadside with three citadels. So, this is, well, we can draw a couple of conclusions from this game, I think, even if on the face of it, it wasn't especially spectacular. The first conclusion I think we can draw is that mobility is a virtue for a battleship. You don't want to just sit in one part of the map. You don't want to just sit, bow in toward a number of enemy ships. If you do, you're liable to get melted like that first Iowa did before he even entered the Bravo cap. And you want to move your battleship around. You want to try to flank the enemy. You want to get into the center of the map if the enemy is on the flanks whenever possible, if you can do it safely. And you want to just move your battleship around the map to try to acquire broadsides. It seems like a simple concept to me, anyway, moving your battleship around. After all, it does have an engine. But I don't know that it's actually a simple concept based on just the number of times I hear battleship players casually say, oh, this would have been the great, a great game if the enemy had given me broadside. No, the enemy is not going to give you broadside if they're playing well. They're going to be trying to protect their broadside. And so if you are playing well, it's going to be your job to move around the map to try to acquire that broadside. And we have moved around the map a fair bit for this game. We've done 130,000 damage. It might not seem like anything spectacular or out of the ordinary or unusual. You might even be wondering why this game is appearing on YouTube, because 
frankly, it's just so honestly average, although we do get the high caliber there with the shot on the Richelieu. The reason it is appearing on YouTube is because when we get to the leaderboard here in a couple of seconds, you'll note that I'm on the top of the leaderboard for the winning team, and I am by far the battleship with the most experience in this game and the best score. Why is that? It's because I moved my battleship around the map. I was able to effectively get some good damage on the enemy battleships, and all of the other battleships in this game just simply pushed straight into the enemy, stopped, went bow in, and they didn't accomplish a whole lot. And you don't accomplish a whole lot if your first resort is to go into the enemy, bow in, and just sit there. It's not effective. It's something that I think people really, really do need to get away from. And with that, the Richelieu goes down, the game ends, we can take a look at the leaderboard, and we can see that I've blown away the score of all the other enemy battleships in my Georgia. And that is because I moved the Georgia around. So that is my message to you today. Move your battleships around. Try to find broadsides. Don't wait for them to come to you, because often they won't. I hope you enjoyed the video. If so, give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing if you haven't already, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.